and welcome to our crafting session today. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jenny McCormack and I am an independent stumping up demonstrator based in the market town of Brackley and I am <coughs> that is in Northamptonshire in the UK. I've turned my lights down a little bit because I've got some shiny foiled papers and they're really reflecting so I'm hoping that the light is sufficient um, as we have it. So a good evening to you. It is Wednesday, no, it's Thursday even. You can tell what's up there I've had, can't you? It's Thursday, the 30th of November 2023. And we are using the Sparkling Snowflakes stamp set, which you can he see here on the left hand side. Now, I haven't um, planned any of my cards for this evening. It's just been one of those days. Um, so we're just going to go with the flow. But I do want to combine the snowflakes with some papers in the catalogue. So one set of papers is in the annual catalogue and the other set is in the autumn winter catalogue. So we're using sparkling snowflakes. This has been our stamp set of the week. And what I want to combine it with, because I haven't really used these papers, um, is this one here. This is a specialty paper and I'm desperately trying to think what it's called and I've just thrown away my bit of paper with it on. I want to say Snowflake Wishes but I might be completely wrong. But it's three sets of foiled papers. These do come 12 by 12. This is a section of them that was in my paper share. So you get two sheets of each one. They're white on the reverse. So we've got this lovely one here in uh, Lost Lagoon. We have a white with a silver foil. And then we have this lovely... I'm not sure if it's Pretty Peacock. I did have a look at the colours and now I've forgotten. I think it's Pretty Peacock with the white um, foil on there. And then the other set of papers I want to use, although I'm not going to use all of them, this is the white centred paper. So in the centre of the um, paper itself is a layer of white. So it's blue on either side in this case and white in the middle. And what I'm going to do is use this with embossing folder and I'm going to use the snowflake embossing folder, which is this one here. Hi Teresa. Sorry about this reflection. Um, and then use, if I can get it out of my drawer, which seems to have wedged itself in. Um, you could use an emery board. I'm hoping I can get my little sanding block out. It's actually a nail block. Got it. Um, it's this one here, very well used, as you can see. And um, I'm just going to use that to scuff the top and show the snowflakes. So, uh, hi to you Jane and Teresa and Kerry. Good morning to you Kerry and good evening to um, the rest of you. So, I think for my snowflake one with the white core, I'm going to use this Knight of Navy. So, the colours you get in here, which are really pretty and they're sort of slightly textured as well. So, you've got Bubble Bath, Berry Burst. Azure Afternoon, Lemon Lime Twist and Knight of Navy and these also come as a 12 by 12 inch pack. So I'm going to use one of those. We did use these in one of our Glass in a Box packs. Um, it was the one with um, all of those floral patterns all the way over with the, with the sort of torn off patterns on the back. So I'm going to be using that one and I'm going to be using these three fabulous fold pieces um, and I'm just going to do a, um, a stack 
pack so you get you'll get three cards out of this so let me just bring my trimmer up and this is just going to go onto a white card and so I'm going to cut all three layers together and let me see am I going to have a border oh good question I'm not sure let's see so I'm going to cut this uh, one centimeter smaller than my base card so this is going to be nine and a half centimeters put those out of the way and this is going to be 13.85 just make sure they're still lined up and I did this as a sample fairly recently so what we're going to do let me grab my white base card is we're going to have that as the base and then I'm going to cut these at oblique angles and place them back on the base and switch the three layers around so let's do that and ideally what you want to do is make sure they're the same size to start with and then we're going to cut them all together so you want to make sure you've got a nice blade on your trimmer and you don't have to cut these at a particular position you can measure them if you want to so I've got one that's going to go like that and then I'm going to cut this one at an angle as well right so what I then like to do is take this one this one and this one and then switch them over that one that one and that one and then finally so you're mixing the three layers together I'm hoping you see all of them oh bless you Cindy's watching from Costco that's got to be a first I have to say Cindy <laughs> so good morning to you <laughs> so basically um i'm so sorry about that reflection it's a shame because it's so pretty but with the dark nights it's difficult not to have any lights on because we'd be in the complete dark hello carol the other carol okay there we are so we've got one basically one two three cards that we can make from that so three pieces of paper put them together make sure they're the same size to start with and then you want to cut them and I I don't have I tend to do it this way but you could do it what I tend to avoid is trying to do it um, equally because it's very easy then to mix the pieces up and then find you can't put them back together again especially when they're sort of straightforward triangles like that you can imagine you put that one on there and then you wonder why the other one doesn't fit so definitely worth keeping um, those together hi Kate I hope you're well you'll recognize this one <laughs> well the layout anyway um, so I can either put them onto a card and then onto here or I can put them straight on so let's have a look Obviously, I've got my white layer here. Let's see what they look like. One, two, three. So you can have them put all together, and then we're going to use a a sentiment and a snowflake on our circle, like so. Now I've done it this way round, but there's nothing to stop you when you put them down. I'm just going to turn the card for the sake of speed is having it that way round 
you know and also you could have it that way around so you can really um, do whatever you want and it makes a really nice quick set of cards so let's put this one back and I'm just deliberating whether to put a layer behind them which I might do uh, let's see what would go so I have pool party I think that would work quite nicely actually and the reason I'm hesitating as to putting a layer on is because I've got white here on white and I really do want a bit of a contrast so I'm going to use that pool party layer let's move that out of the way and I'm just going to cut that to 10 centimeters by 14.35 and that will give me just a small border between that and the base card I think a, a snowflake stamp set is just a really useful stamp set to have obviously if you've already got snowflakes then perfect not only do they make great Christmas cards but they're great for winter birthdays they don't have to be just for Christmas so 14.35 and I might as well cut this one the same because I'll probably use it as another card layer somewhere along the line okay so I can put that spare one aside okay so I've got one two three and these pieces here that were the piece that we cut off the bottom are perfect for putting inside your card so we can do this a number of ways so I'll show you um, you can either just start here and put it down okay but the danger is if you haven't got this quite straight by the time you get to the bottom piece and I'm just going to exaggerate this it doesn't fit properly on your card I'm just going to lift it up I don't know if you can see that so I've got a very narrow border so if you followed me for a while you know that what I like to do is turn it over align them together like so and then just put some tape on the back so that you're only putting one finished piece onto your card layer and you can use double sided tape you can use sellotape, tape you could use post-it tape washi tape really you can use anything just enough to hold it while you're working on it so i'm just putting that up and if you use double sided tape obviously you've got the benefit that you can take that other side off as well I can find the edge can't believe it's 1st of December tomorrow just unreal okay. I'm hoping Kate that you receive my parcel in the post um, I can't even remember when I sent it I think it was last week this week okay so by sticking those together you've then got one piece that you can align centrally onto your card and I do recommend um, that's the best way to do it in my in my personal opinion so now I've got that I can add a bit of glue or tape 
and I'm also going to take the edge off. Hi Carol! I think a few often, for those of you who don't know, I met Carol Valentine over in Las Vegas and we had great fun there at the Stamping Up Backstage event. There we go. So, just taking those backing strips off. Okay, and then I'm just positioning this very lightly on top. to have you join us and if this is a good time I will pop on tomorrow and show you how I sharpened all my scissors and cleaned them right let's find my card base here it is so as I say once you've got it to that point hi Nicole I'm pleased to say Nicole finally your order is on its way I'm sorry there's been such a delay at the warehouse because we had the sale and then we had a stock take so I'm really sorry we don't normally have to wait this long um, so once you've got it there you can decide which way around you want it on your card so you could have it that way around you could have the whole card that way around you could really do anything you like which way am I going to have it this is the question I think I'm going to have it like that so what I'm going to do is stamp my sentiment onto here hmm I'm going to deliberate on that um, stamp my sentiment on here and a snowflake so uh, let's see if the winter greetings will fit It does indeed and then I'm going to stamp a snowflake behind it so this time <laughs> I know you're not mad at me thank you Nicole but it is really frustrating when you've ordered something and um, you know then it takes its time to come so I've got that size of snowflake or the smaller one Oh, can't decide. Let's see. Right, let's grab a block. And I think what I'm going to do is use that pool party for my sample. And I cut up lots of grid paper yesterday as well. Because I use grid paper at class and coffee and card. But not all of the grid paper obviously gets used. So I just trim an element down. So let's try this and see. Hi V. Pool party. And pretty peacock. So I'm picking out the colours. This is the, the card layer I've used and then pretty peacock is this layer here in this lovely foiled paper so let's try this and see okay so I'm just inking this one up so I can't decide whether I'll have it stamped once or twice I think I'm going to go for it twice And the good thing about a circle sentiment is it doesn't really matter as long as it's fairly central you can just turn it round as you want it so there's my little backing hopefully you can see that 
I wanted it fairly light and I'm going to do my sentiment in Pretty Peacock. So this one here is Pool Party, this sort of, it's a, a light bluey green and then Peacock which is going with it. And this in the middle is um, Lost Lagoon. Make sure I don't mix those up. Okay, so I'm using Winter Greetings. This is from the same stamp set. And this is perfect, as I said before, for people who maybe don't celebrate Christmas. You can send them a winter greetings rather than a Christmas. Just to work out how I'm going to have that. Just want it in the background. There we go. So there's our set there. Let's move that to one side. And let's see how this looks. Um. Hello Brenda. This paper is stunning isn't it? Just stunning. So I've got this one here. So I can have this on the left. Thank you for joining us, Brenda. I could have it down. That doesn't feel quite right because it's not centred. It doesn't matter if it's high of centre, like so. And you can even have it over a little bit. I think I'm going to go with that combination. I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals. And you could add a little bit of silver... ribbon or thread behind it so I've got this lovely silver sheer ribbon so it makes really nice bows because it's so sheer and thin um, that you can make a nice bow with it there's no bulk because it's so fine let's pop that through there And Dee, if you're still watching, your box is in my car ready for tomorrow. Okay, so, like that. So you could add that in. You could add it up on the left. Or you could just have a zigzag or just a fold of ribbon behind like so yes it's perfect Kerry isn't it for multiples and good way of using up papers uh, and especially busy papers and you could substitute a piece of card for one of the layers um, I think I'm just going to do a little bit of ribbon across the back. So, oh, I could wrap it round. Oh, yes. It's funny how ideas suddenly come to you, isn't it? So I could wrap that round there with my sentiment and then have a little bow there. That's what I'm going to do. So all change because that's not what I thought I was going to do. So I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. How nice is the scissors that cut? And you could use a glue dot, but I'm just going to use. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is put tape all the way down, ready for this layer to go on my card. So I'm using a white base card. You could easily use a pretty peacock colour card if you wanted to. Um, oh, that's how I had it, wasn't it? 
going to swap it round. Okay, so I've got just enough to wrap around. Just make sure you've got enough that it's not going to sort of ping off. Mine's a little bit close, but I think I'll be all right. Like so. And then I'm going to put this straight onto our card base. This is going to open at the top. So again, don't push it down. Just position it until you've got it where you want it. Then push it down. And then I'm going to tuck this one underneath and just tie a knot here there we go I'm going to trim that off in a minute and my winter greeting is going to go there on the left I'm going to pop that up with dimensionals and because it's going over ribbon, although it's a very thin layer ribbon, I'm just going to put dimensional above and below so it doesn't sit on the ribbon at an uneven angle. And for some reason, I've only got these little ones to hand. So I hope everybody is well. Did I put the Stamping Up magazine with it too? Um, no, I haven't because I'm still waiting for the um, stamp set to arrive with me. Sorry, Nicole, if I got your hopes up. I'm waiting for them to ship it to me before I can ship it to you. And yes, it will have a catalogue, of course. There we go. And the extra bits and pieces from the lives that I did with it. Okay, so that is going to go there on the left. If I've got enough, I could do a tiny little bow with this. I don't think I have enough. So I'm just going to trim it like so. So there's card number one, so we've got our little bit of bow, as I say, sorry about the reflection, but hopefully you can see that. Okay. And then you could stamp another sentiment on the inside, a Christmas sentiment if you wanted to. And then because I've got this off cut, I'm just going to put this across the bottom, but I'm going to stamp a snowflake underneath it. I'm going to use that same one. here and find to the ink pad I've just buried. Thank you Carol. And again I am going to stamp this off first. Make sure there's nothing underneath it in particular. And what I'm going to do is put one higher and then two slightly lower and I'm just stamping them off each time like that. and then doesn't matter which of those I choose I can put that across the bottom so could make it narrower but I'm just going to use that piece up rather than throwing it away like so and just measuring it by eye like so so that's the inside of the card, the little bit of snowflakes behind. Hopefully you can see that. It's quite pale onto the light. Um, and there's our front. So we've got 
these are the pieces here because we did our, our um, stack slice and shuffle so make sure that these are the ones that go back together that goes down there that one goes there somehow Nope. See what I mean? <laughs> right, let's use this as a template. Okay. There we are. And that one. Perfect. So I'm just going to layer these onto these pieces here. So I'm going to try and do this one without um, putting them together and just see how I get on so I know I've only got a small amount of margin but as I say the danger with this is if you haven't got it straight the whole thing ends sort of falling off your card but even then I've got a slightly bigger thing on the top. Now you could put it on a bigger card and you could also space between the pieces if you wanted to. But just for speed I'm going to put these straight on. Turned it again haven't I? No, no, that's it. I remember doing this in class and everybody got a little bit confused. There we go, and then that one there. So you definitely don't want three triangles. At least with this, you know the two side pieces and then one triangle to deal with. Okay, so even that isn't very even, although I was using that as a template. I'm just going to trim that top bit down. There we go, so that's going to be another card and then just for speed I'll do the same with this one. But I really do recommend sticking them together first as one piece. So one, let's make sure that it's going to fit on there. Yep. All right, turning it that way. That's my long piece. Was that how I turned it? I think so. Now, if you find it isn't dead straight when you come to do the last piece, you can obviously overlap this and hide any gaps. So if you ended up with a bigger gap or something not straight here, then what you could do is put this piece just on top of those two and hide anything, any gaps that you might have. Obviously, you then need to trim the top. So that's your um, get out of jail free if you need to. So, so the papers are doing all the work in this once you've got them cut. Just so pretty. 
Um, so there's one, and then these two. Get the hands in the right place. So I'm going to try um, find my little die cut box. What other little die cuts I've got that would work? So obviously I've got the circle. I've got this one. It's a little bit too big. Got. That banner's a bit too small. Let me have a look through here. I thought I had some spare ones from this week's coffee and card, but I've obviously used them all up. So I'm just going to go, let's see if this will work that way. Just feels a bit too big. I'm going to stick with the circles. Sorry that's rather... boring. Let's try the smaller one of these this time round. Let's put that larger one away. So we have coffee and card um, tomorrow. For those of you that are local and wish to join us, I'm going to do the same colour combination. So pool party and pretty peacock. Okay, let's go for that one there. Just want it as a hint in the background really. Make sure I've got my stitching going the right way. And then the other sentiments in this set are make the season sparkle and let it snow. I'm just going to use the winter, winter greetings in Pretty Peacock as I want it to stand out. Is that one? Oops, Daisy. That one. Okay. Let's cover those up. So we've got these two panels here. As I said, you can turn them round at this point and decide how you want them. And then we've got winter greetings, winter greetings, so I want to do one slightly differently actually. Could put that in the foiled circle and have a bow there. Let's just do a separate bow, just so I've got something slightly different. And just some silver twine would also work from our silver and gold twine pack. Not sure I've done that properly. going to make this nice and small like that there we go so what I'm going to do is put that one on the join like so Around the glue dot. So I've got to design our cards for tomorrow's coffee and card when I've done this and then finish doing the videos for our class in the box for this month. Right, 
it. So, pop the glue dot on there and our little bow. And then we to winter greetings, even can go on with some dimensionals. Which are also just here, but I can't see them. And I remember finding my box of them yesterday. How crazy. Hmm. Okay, just imagine they've got dimensionals on. <laughs> so we've got one that's going to go on to there, that's going to go on to a white card. Sorry everybody. I've got black ones, but I don't really want black ones under there. And then, let's see, I want to do something different. So we've got this one, this one, that's going to go onto a white card. And then, <coughs> maybe I'll put a ribbon round, <coughs> excuse me, that way. This silver ribbon is lovely, but you could also use pool party ribbon if you've got it or something similar you could probably get away with coastal cabana or something and so what I'm going to do just put that on that join happy with that. Let's move it further down. It's a bit like a tree, doesn't it? Mm. No, I'm not happy with that. It's the wrong sort of set of dimensions isn't it the way just the way that I've cut it really I'm gonna stick with it like that let's just put some more tape on the back here so I don't stick it to everything else there's my dimensional of course under the tape. Okay, just want to put this down because it's got adhesive on the back. I'll just bring it over and down a little bit. So I hope everybody's having a good week. I hope you had good Thanksgiving. Carol and anybody else who's here that or watching on replay that celebrates Thanksgiving. Okay, so there's my winter greeting. So I'm going to bring this one so it's right on the edge of that join, like so. That's that one. And now I found those magic dimensionals, albeit small ones. I'm put those on. So 1st of December tomorrow, demonstrators around the world are getting excited because we can order our copies of the new January catalogue from next week. Got lots of lovely goodies in it. go pop that on a card and then obviously you can embellish that and 
as much as you wish or you may feel that it's got enough on there with those lovely foiled um, papers okay one two three and then I'm going to just show you some embossing I was going to do heat embossing but I've got sidetracked now <laughs> okay so those are our three cards like so so I hope you like them apologies for the reflection though and let us just try this so this is our white center or white core paper so i'm going to trim a piece down i think i'm going to do it 10 by 14.35 but i might actually cut it down thank you brenda and kerry thank you So what I'm going to do is pop this through our embossing folder. This is the snowflake embossing folder. And it's got snowflakes and snow. I don't know how much of that you can see. Hopefully if I put that through, you can see the larger snowflakes and then you've got tiny little bits of snow which um, decrease in size but increase in quantity towards the bottom. So what I'm going to do, and obviously you could put your card in, your paper in either way. So maybe let's do, let's do a landscape one. And I'm putting it at the bottom because I want all of that detail on the bottom. So I'm going to run that through our embossing machine. I'm using our 3D um, plate number four and our base plate, that is all okay. Okay. just found the tea towel I was looking for earlier on so this has now embossed this piece and I'm not sure that you can you can see a little bit of that but what I'm going to do is use our sander so you can use an emery board for this you want something fairly soft and I'm going to put a piece of paper behind because it does make a bit of a mess and I'm just going to run my sander if you've got light very light sandpaper you could use that as well but can you see the white core coming through i'm hoping you can so it's got white in the center but it's this one is knight of navy on both sides and this comes as a pack of five different colours. So what I'm doing is going over where those snowflakes are. Okay. Looks a bit like the night sky, doesn't it? but watch out for all the little bits of dust that you get that will stick to anything <laughs> anything you've got going okay so now I've got my snowflakes and my snowfall like so and what am I going to do now 
I want to sort of mimic that snow coming down. So, let me see. I've got... Some little edged pieces here. Oh, it's got a wine glass on it, look. Just so to get rid of that. Hello, Trudy. I've got your order ready for you. Okay, so that layer with the embossing I've got on there. So it's very tactile as well. You can obviously feel all those dots. Great for people who are... Um, you know, don't have 100% sight. It's really good for them. So I'm thinking a Christmas sentiment and then those snowflakes in the background. And I'm going to change out colours. So we've had pool party in here. So I'm going to go balmy blue for this one. Yes, barley blue. And I'm going to use Night of Navy, which I think I had out already in preparation. And what I want is a nice big Christmas sentiment. So I've got a joy to you. Um, so wishing you a very Merry Christmas or may your Christmas be merry and bright. Either of those would work if they will fit in here. Da, da, da. So that one will definitely fit. And then I'm going to stamp in the same way that we did this background here. I'm going to do the background snowflakes. So I'm going to stamp this first because if this doesn't come out properly then we're not <laughs> able to um, make use of that, are we? Okay. Looks roughly straight and looks like I've got a very light Knight of Navy ink pad. Let me have a look at this in the night. Hmm. Can I try it on here? Yes, Knight of Navy is still current. Otherwise I wouldn't be using it. <laughs> but yes, it is current. I'm just going to try another one actually. There we go. See if there's any more in this one. I'm going to put this one to one side so that I know to refill it. Let's just see. on here again. Yes, uh, there are light and dark one. Not in the ink pads. There's a light and dark blends. Oh gosh, that's even... I think I'd better refill. Let's do that. Um, light of Navy. I really want it to match the card I've got. 
behind so let's take this one and the good thing about the refills is they last unless you're refilling or using them for other techniques they last such a long time she says so you want to dot it on your ink pad don't over ink it because you're just wasting the ink otherwise and come in right just needs a bit of pressure Right, let's have a look at that. Hi, Diane. Oh, sorry. There we are. Just make that a bit brighter. And then ideally what you want to do when you've refilled it is just move that ink around a little bit. And I can see how dry that is because that's sunk in almost, well, just straight away. So I probably need to do that a second time. Let's have a look and see. If your stamp starts sticking to your ink pad, that means that your ink pad is getting drier. And, you know, just be mindful of that and order a refill. Congratulations, Diane, to Danielle, who won that the competition in the local um, Brackley magazine. I saw her name pop up. I don't know what she wins, though. A voucher, I think it was. So well done to her. Okay. Sorry about this, but if you haven't seen... Um, an ink pad re-inked, it's quite useful. Yeah, if it starts sticking, it needs more ink. Let's try that. And you definitely want to do a little bit and then move it in try that obviously I could also use the stamparatus and stamp it a few times <laughs> that would be another way around it right let's see how we're doing now we're definitely getting there aren't we Oh, so it was an owl in the magazine, and, um, or was it a frog? I can't remember. Anyway, whatever it is, I have looked month on month on month, and I've never seen it. Okay. I'm going for one more inking, and then we'll use that. Otherwise, you'll all be ready. In the UK, you'll all be ready for bed. This is at the end, I think. Having said these last for ages, this is the only Knight of Navy refill I've ever bought. <laughs> I believe. Well, now I'm, yes, I haven't got the old castle, the old um, magazine, but now I know where it is. I can look for it to know what I'm looking for. I don't know how big it is. I think it's a, it's a frog or an owl, something crazy like that. Okay. I think I've just about run out of Rienka. Oh, clever Trudy. Says if the bottom half works, yeah, 
then turn it round. Okay. Clever girl. Right, we'll go with this. Because it can't be any worse than we had. Right, let's go with that in the middle. So this is just on a scallop contour die. Like so. There we go. And then I'm going to use balmy blue and the snowflake. So I'm using the darker, the bolder snowflake because it's in the background. So let's see what this one looks like. <laughs> okay. So this is nice and light. This is actually another one that needs re-inking, but it will serve its purpose perfectly. So hopefully you can see that subtle snowflake in the background. Like so. And you could use the detail one as well if you wanted to, but I don't think you see enough of it to worry about using it. Let's pop that one on there. There we go. Okay, so I've got my snowflake embossed piece here of Knight of Navy using that white centered cool card. I've got this layer here. And I might just leave it like that and add a little bit of bling. Simple as. So let's pop this layer down. So I did end up embossing, just not heat embossing. There we go. Just a bit on those edges. As this is embossed, it's not going to sit quite as flat. And I've got a side opening card. And I've got the, the detail at the bottom. And then this is going to go on here with some dimensionals that I have here. And again, sorry, they're small ones. Just take a little bit longer to stick down and peel off. Sorry about that. And then the last thing is to add a little bit of bling. I could put some ribbon behind this, but I think it makes a really understated card. Making sure all of those are off. I'll just check if they're shiny, then I know they've all come off. And also, you could do that at an angle. I'm going straight ish. Like that. And add a little bit of bling. So, I happen to have. Some balmy blue, which would be alright if there was space on that panel, but there isn't really. So, let's see what I've got here. Oh, I think that would work. Those are Misty Moonlight, these ones here. And also these ones would work, the adhesive sequins. Oh, I can't decide. Let's put a couple on and have a look.
we'll go with those. These pick up the colours. Well, I've got three, four, five. There we go. Have we got on somewhere I could put them on there? Not nowhere that makes real sense. Maybe I'll just put them in the gaps. One, two three there we go and there we are so we've got this one here just with the background snowflake stamp and using the snowflake embossing folder and then the ones that we did earlier the um, stack slice and shuffle where you have three pieces of paper that you cut at the same time at a jaunty angle and then you mix them round so we've got three cards of that out of that so it's a really good way of doing that a bit big um, hmm, we'll see um, it doesn't need any blink because it's got all of the foil going on um, so there we go so thank you so much for joining me I really appreciate your company I've got these spare pieces that I'll put inside like I did with this one here so I stamped the snowflakes at the bottom and then just put that spare strip of paper across there just for a bit of interest so thank you so much for joining me it is the last day of November I am ordering again this evening if anybody needs anything um, I'm pleased to say that we've just about caught up with the backlog that we had in Germany. Um, so I think um, they're like maybe one day behind, whereas they were running nine days behind. So um, I look forward to getting an order in and getting some goodies. And then next week um, I'll be able to order our new January catalogues, which I'm very excited about. So anything you need, don't hesitate to message me. Um, and if you're here in the UK and you want anything today, um, ordered tonight, then give me a shout before about nine o'clock when I'll be submitting my order. So thank you so much, everyone. I hope you like the cards. Um, it was a little bit hit and miss, but we got there in the end. Um, let me know which you like best. These are always great. And the papers just do everything for you, don't they? Um, and then this was the white centre paper just added a bit of bling that you can see shining there with the um, embossing folder and then the bold sentiment and then the snowflake stamp behind thank you so much everyone do take care have a little bit of a tidy up um, grab something to eat and then I'll be working on the remaining class videos and then I'm planning our December class um, which is an all sorts class so I look forward to sharing that with you <laughs> thank you so much everyone do take care I appreciate you joining me look after yourselves look after your loved ones and I hope you can keep crafting <laughs> bye for now